Forget about acquisition. Acquisition is tertiary. The primary goal of lifting. Use it quickly. Oh, fire! Be Let your mind be Holy God's fire! Deliverance from God comes as a response to heartfelt prayer. Number one is a cry for mercy. Number two, heartfelt prayer. Deliverance from God comes in response to heartfelt prayer. Matthew 26 and 41. Jesus is speaking to Peter and the disciples, 26, 41. He says, watch and pray. We have a teaching on this later on. Because these two words capture a very deep mystery for surviving the evil of the times. He said, watch and pray. Watch is the product of intelligence and discernment. He says, when it has to do with your safety, there is a place for intelligence and discernment. Watch, be discerning, be vigilant. And then from the information you get from watching, you pray. You don't pray amiss when you watch. You watch and pray that ye enter not into temptation. He says, the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. First Peter chapter 5, we read it earlier. Now let's do 8 and 9. First Peter 5, 8 and 9. Be sober and vigilant, he says, because your adversary the devil as a roaring lion walketh about seeking whom he may devour. Verse 9. It says, whom resist steadfastly in faith, knowing that the same afflictions are accomplished in your brethren that are in the world. In other words, this is not new. So there is a way of escape. You can resist him in the place of prayer. Philippians chapter 1 and verse 19, very powerful scripture. It says, for I know that this shall turn to my salvation through your prayer and the supply of the spirit of Jesus Christ. Anything will turn to my salvation through your prayer. Anything at all. The challenges that now befall you as a result of open doors, they can be turned to your salvation like it happened at the prison. What was supposed to be a limitation to the apostles. Are we together now? Yes. Paul and Silas bound as a result of evangelism as a result of promoting the purposes of God the Bible says when they were tied there eventually the jailer and all his family became saved I know that this shall turn to my salvation I don't know who I'm speaking to but what looks like a, a dead end you are saying, Lord, the troubles that came to my life was because I got this job. I want to speak to you that in the place of prayer, there is a technology that converts pain to glory. If you know how to manage pain. I don't watch a lot of TV, but there are times I watch Food Network. And sometimes there are competitions that they have and they give them food that has stayed overnight. And they are expected to do something with that food and still produce a nice meal. Are we together? So they could give them maybe bread, food that has stayed. And it is, they now start thinking of various ways. And they can turn it, you would think it was freshly prepared food. That's how it is. Something that looks like a dead end, programmed by Satan. Even the falling of the pit with prayer can become your advancement into Egypt. Even... Potiphar's wife's trouble that led you to the prison can become the final bouncing point before you get to the palace. For I know that this shall turn for my salvation. Every time you are afflicted, according to James 5 and verse 13, it says, is anyone afflicted, let him pray. I can tell you when you pray with understanding, it sustains the ability to produce tremendous power. In fact, the Bible says in Mark now, Mark, um, what was the scripture? Verse 24, Mark eleven twenty-four. 24. It says, what things soever ye desire, when ye pray, not if ye pray. There is a relationship between desire, prayer, receiving, and having. Desire, Prayer, 
receiving and having i've told you that you can only have what you have received if you have not received it you cannot have it receiving is a spiritual technology and then you have it as a manifestation god is able to respond to men who travel in the place of prayer you can access deliverance in the place of prayer listen to me ladies and gentlemen i can tell you that you can pray your way out of many troubles you can pray your way out of many troubles the moment you begin to discern that the spiritual climate is unfavorable maybe your job maybe your business maybe ministry all kinds of things are happening your your husband is sick your child is sick finance going down you see the signature of satan is discernible the bible says the thief cometh not john 10 10 but for to kill to steal and to destroy you can see his signature immediately the word of god is the principal tool for discernment you can see immediately this is satan this is satan and you begin to pray he gave us the prayer language as an advantage so that we do not walk with the limitations of the mind the mind can catch up later on but you can begin to engage in prayer strategic prayer it says the fervent and effectual prayer of the righteous man availed much. Luke 18 and verse 1, he spake a parable to the end that men ought always to pray and not to faint. First Thessalonians 5 and verse 17, he says to pray without ceasing, be consistent in your prayer. Hallelujah. The moment doors open, that is not the time for your prayer life to go down. That is not the time of laxity. Do not get caught up with the delicacy of the palace that you forget to pray. Let me tell you how to command deliverance. Esther is in a dilemma right now because she needs to meet King Ahasuerus. And the ethics of kings those days were that if you, if you stepped into the king's inner chamber without his invitation and he did not leave the golden censer, you were dead immediately. And he said, Mordecai, I will go. If I perish, I perish. But now is the time to engage. All of us will be on prayer, even with fasting. We know what prayer can do. I will go to meet the king. And she stepped in to meet the king. And the king said, come. He lifted the golden censer. And that became the beginning of the process that will later become the destruction of Mordecai, of Haman, the lifting of Mordecai and the salvation of God's people. Prayer is powerful. Can I tell you, don't fold your arms and act like nothing is happening when darkness seems to loom around your life. There are seasons in your life where you need dedicated time. You should be prayerful all the time. But let me tell you, there are moments in life and destiny, Kairos moments. I have taught you this. When seasons are about to change, there are many things that start happening to you. One is an unusual desire to give. Number two is an unusual desire to pray. These are indices that show you that you are finishing a season and you are entering a new one. When Jesus was about to go to the cross, from the communion table, he went straight to Gethsemane. And the Bible says he prayed, repeating the same words. Drew strength from there. And he says, I'm ready. Judas came with all the people and came and kissed him. And he was able to build the stamina to survive until he gave up his life on the cross. Can I tell you? If you turn aside in the day of battle, the spiritual diagnosis is that your strength is small. Not because victory is not possible. You need capacity in the spirit. I pray that God will raise CEOs that pray. I pray that God will raise preachers that pray. Pray for me. Pray for me is the plague of weak people. Yes, there is a place for intercession, but let me tell you, everybody who is rising must master the mysteries of the altar. You must know how to hold on to the horns of the altar until you command perpetual victory. There are certain burdens of leadership that come upon you if you do not know how to flog out the destinies of people in the place of prayer. You will raise a weak and a defeated people. Prayer is powerful. You lock up yourself. 
what is happening in this ministry it looks like doors of favor is closing it looks like all kinds of things we discern the signature of darkness father we call upon you you are the deliverer as a family you find out that you're rising you're excelling god is distinguishing you among your your other people within the bloodline perhaps and it looks like it's coming with corresponding consequences now you have intelligence to know that it is nothing unusual it is part of the battles that come with growth it is the implication of open doors there are giants on every mountain don't desire the mountain without holding the tools to fight the giant be like Caleb he said let us go up at once we are well able hallelujah you must know that deliverance comes in response to prayer. I can tell you, you can pray negative seasons out of your life. You can pray unfavorable seasons out of your life. There are times you take God seriously and take your destiny seriously and engage in the place of prayer until your light breaks. Are we together? Prayer does many things. It supplies the fire that exposes evil. There are times you are even confused. You do not even know what is happening. Prayer in partnership with the word is what begins to filter the happenings beyond the realm of the sight to dig deep into the spirit and know what is really happening. Because you see, judging by the flesh, you are going to misjudge so many things. Prayer filters your perceptions until that which is true is what stands. There was a viper hiding in the midst of the wood. But for as long as there was no fire, the viper was comfortable. The moment the wood was lit, the viper was exposed. People of God, the greater you rise, let any other thing, you can outsource any other thing, but not your prayer life. Outsource those who come to wash your cars, outsource those who come to clean your house because you are busy, outsource a secretary, outsource any other person, but in addition to the people who intercede for you, you must independently understand that there is something about heaven's response to your voice. To your voice. To your voice. To your voice. There is no end time ministry that will stand without a proper consistent ever growing investment in the place of prayer there is no business that will stand i told you this you cannot be the same person leading the field expanding in your business and you believe that satan will fold his arms have you forgotten in the bible where a few people bound themselves with fasting and said they will not eat until paul died men can go that far for your downfall just because you are not wicked does not mean other people are not wicked. Not all men have faith, ladies and gentlemen. Someone can sit down and say, we see the children in this family rising. Let's see who else rises. The little work that I've done for the Lord in the ministry has shown me many possibilities that I probably would not have believed existed. As far as the administration of evil through the hearts of men is concerned. Ladies and gentlemen, please make sure you are people who understand the dynamics of the altar. My goal is to help you and support you with knowledge and to guide you. But you must pray. You must pray. You must pray. We live in times where you must understand the place of prayer. Don't say, I am weak. Start from where you are. Forget about acquisition. Acquisition is tertiary. The primary goal of lifting, use it quickly. Oh, fire! Let your mind be holy. God's fire.